In this tutorial, we're going to start doing some ADR on the 5050 project. So now that you've imported the AAF file and have had a chance to listen to uh, the dialogue that we recorded on set, you can tell there's some problems in a couple of places. Now, a lot of this we can edit around and that sort of stuff, but sometimes we just have to record the dialogue again. And uh, I'll give you an example here. We have one of Jamie's lines in the uh, garage scene. What are you doing? I'm not playing with you, lady. I will end her. So just put the gun down. Now, there's a lot of background noise here and stuff, and it's going to be difficult to make this line sound good in the final mix. So we're going to replace it. We're going to have uh, the actor, Joe Kidd, come back in and record the line while looking at, his, at the movie on the screen so we can see his mouth and lip sync and replace the dialogue line. And that's what ADR is. So, but here's how it works in Nuendo. Um, what we have to do is create a cycle marker for each um, dialogue line that we want to replace. And uh, so let's start off here. Are these, I'm going to group these three lines together. What are you doing? I'm not playing with you, lady. I will end her. I'm just going to do that much as one take. We usually call them takes. Um, so I've set the left locator and the right locator just around the dialogue itself. And up here on the touch screen, I've created a user defined button to insert and name the cycle marker. So I'm going to do that. That pops up the marker window and already puts my cursor right in the description field uh, of the marker so I can uh, give it a, a name. In this case, uh, I'm going to call it I'm not messing. I'm not messing. This is just for my own reference. Now, in order for ADR to proceed, we are going to need the actual dialogue that they need to replace. And we need to put that into the marker information. But right now, all we see are the standard fields for the marker. Uh, position, end, length, the ID number, the description. But if we go up to this um, attribute button here, we can add all of the necessary fields to the marker window that we need. And we have a bunch of subcategories here, but what we're going to be concerned about is the ADR subcategory. So I'm going to turn on all of those fields or show those fields in the marker window. Now the marker window expands. We got a lot more information here. Uh, here's the main one, the dialogue field. This is what is going to be shown on screen when we actually record the ADR. Whatever text we put in this field is going to show up at the bottom of the video output of the window so that the talent knows what to say or knows their line that they're reading right there. So let me listen again. What are you doing? I'm not playing with you, lady. I will end her. So just put the gun down. Makes no difference. I know I'm getting out of here alive. I know. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, the dialogue I'm going to put in here. Uh, we'll call this take one. Oftentimes in ADR uh, workflows, each line that you're going to replace is called a take. And so there's a specific take field in the ADR attributes that we can use for that function. It's different from our ID number in Nuendo. This is something specific to typical ADR workflows. The character is Jamie. The actor's name, Joe Kidd. And if we were doing a foreign language version, we could enter translations for the lines in these other columns. And we'll talk more about that in another tutorial. So now I have my first marker. And if I move the marker window out of the way, we can see that marker right here. Um, you can see I'm not messing. That's the name of the marker um, that has all these attributes. So now back to the marker window. In order to use the ADR functions, we have to show the ADR panel here down in the bottom left of the marker window. If I turn it off, it's just the regular marker window. When I turn it on, we have these extra functions down here at the bottom. Let's take a look at the setup here, the very far right. For the setup, we have three tabs, general, video, and signal switchboard. 
For now, let's just take a look at the Video tab. Now, the Video tab controls how Nuendo's video engine will output um, uh, the dialogue on the screen and, and other things like the swipe or the countdown. And, and uh, we'll show you all this in action when we do the ADR session. But for now, just take a look at these settings. And then let me run for you the video output of Nuendo if we were going to do this particular take, what it would look like. What are you doing? I'm not playing with you, lady. I will end her. So, so as you saw, first we had the swipe, that, that white line that goes across the screen. That is the countdown to the start. That, that lets the talent know when they're supposed to start their line, because sometimes there can be a cut in the scene and there's really no way to know when it's going to happen. So the swipe is very helpful. Now, here in the options, we can do a couple of different things. Sometimes uh, the talent will prefer to have a numeric countdown, a three, two, one. We can do that as well. There's options here. So, but that's what it's designed for. Uh, next, uh, we have the show dialogue during ADR and always show dialogue options. These I have both checked. So as you saw, the dialogue was on screen even before the line happened. And then it stayed on screen during the line. That's what those options are for. Uh, the take length indicator. This is the uh, scrolling box along the bottom of the screen that indicates how long they have to read that line. And that just helps the talent pace themselves um, from the beginning to the end of the line. Some people might like to see it. Some people might not like to see it. That's why it's an option. Finally, we have the ADR status indicator. The status indicator is simply to let the talent know if we're recording or if we're not recording. Uh, if we're rehearsing, the, the box in the upper left-hand corner of the video will be green. If we're recording, it'll be red. And if you're reviewing takes, it'll be green also. So that just simply, simply lets them know, hey, we're going to record this take. The bottom options here have to do with doing multiple takes in a row. For example, here, if we attached the last line on and wanted to record that in the same pass, we could actually allow Nuendo to continue on to that next take. And what will happen is there'll be a secondary swipe, letting the talent know again, here comes the next line, and uh, they can do multiple lines in a row. This can help speed up the ADR process instead of having to stop for each line, even though that might be the way it was entered, the talent might be might want to read more than one line at a time. And this way we can do it very easily right in Nuendo. So uh, let's go to the ADR session and see some of this in action. And uh, just to show you how the video works for the talent, what they see when they're actually recording. And uh, uh, then I'll be back. Ready? Here we go. What are you doing? I'm, I'm not, not playing with you, lady. I, I will end her. So just put the... Let me listen. What are you doing? I'm not playing with you, lady. I will end her. I like that. I'm probably going to edit between those, uh, those last two. I'm just going to do that right now. I had your other track off one more time. <laughs> Let me listen. Well, maybe. I said you had a 50 50 shot. New contacts. No, that yeah, one yeah. that looked right on. Let's go. Let's go. I that's cool. cool. I think we're we're good on that. Uh next line. One more time. Oh, that's all I'm saying. I don't want to be heard in here, do you? Let me listen. I don't want to be here in the cops getting here, do you? I like that one. I thought that was good. Let me listen. Hey, that was her? Yeah. I don't want to be here in the cops getting here, do you? Done. <laughs> I was like, that was her right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's done. <laughs> so now that you've seen a little bit of the ADR tool in action with the talent in the studio, both Joe and Iabu reading their lines, some of these lines that we wanted to replace in the movie, 
Um, next, we're going to talk about, in another tutorial, we're going to talk about the audio side because ADR is very complex when you are talking about the channels involved and what the talent actually wants to hear. When they're practicing for the line, they might want to hear themselves, but then when they're reading the line, they might not want to hear themselves, meaning what they recorded before. Everybody's different. So there's a lot of functionality built into the ADR Taker tool that allows flexibility in how audio monitoring is handled. And we are going to cover that in the next tutorial.